What is up party people and welcome back to the channel. Now I've been getting a lot of comments about how to integrate WhatsApp with WordPress. So I went on a mission and I explored some plugins and I found the perfect plugin to integrate WhatsApp with your WordPress website. The plugin offers a variety of features. It also allows you to fully design the WhatsApp icon on desktop and even mobile devices all in the free version. You can choose with a basic WhatsApp icon like here on the right side, or you guys can even design it by adding in colors and even adding a pop-up message. You can even go a step further and add pictures of your staff or agents and display a welcome message on the right side. And if you want to get creative, you can even add GIFs on your WhatsApp icon. The GIF is actually really engaging and will encourage your visitors to take action and click on the icon. Pretty cool, huh? Now, when a user decides to click on the WhatsApp icon and they're on a desktop, it'll open up WhatsApp for them automatically. If they're on a mobile device, it'll automatically prompt WhatsApp on their mobile device. Once they click on the icon, you can also display a welcome message to users who clicked on your WhatsApp. You can fully customize this welcome message to say anything you want and even offer discounts. What's even better is you can fully integrate this on WooCommerce shop pages, product pages, checkout pages, and even the cart page. You can display your WhatsApp icon on nine different parts of your product pages and shop pages just in case your customers have any question. And the best part, it's completely free. So let me show you guys how to integrate this plugin. Okay, so we're going to integrate the WhatsApp plugin on this beautiful e-commerce website. If you guys wanna watch how I made this, there's a tutorial in the description. You guys can go ahead and check that out. But first, let's go ahead and install this free plugin. Let's go back over here to our dashboard. And over here under plugins, let's go ahead and click on add new. Now up here under search plugins, we're gonna type in click to chat, click to chat. All right, and here's a plugin we're going to install. It's click to chat by Holly Themes. Okay, so make sure it's Holly Themes, got that? All right, cool, all right, cool. Go ahead now and click on install now. Then we'll click on activate. Now, once you guys install the plugin, if you scroll down here on the bottom left side, you're gonna see this click to chat. Just go ahead and click on click to chat. Okay, so these are the chat to click general settings. And the first thing that you guys will do, obviously, is enter in your WhatsApp, right? Duh, right? So this will be your actual phone number. So when people send you messages, it'll go to this specific number right here. So I'll go ahead and just use this dummy number I found on the internet. It doesn't work. So if you guys call it, it's not going to be me, right? So, so the next is the pre-filled message. Now, if someone clicks on your WhatsApp icon and opens up the WhatsApp on their desktop or on their phone, it'll create a pre-filled message for them, very similar to the one I'm showing you guys on the screen right here, okay? And the next is the call to action. Now, if a user actually goes to the WhatsApp icon and hovers over it, it'll display a small message like WhatsApp us. You can always change this to contact us. You can change this to, hey, click to talk to an agent or something like that, right? Now that's actually gonna change depending on the style. So over here we have different styles. And on the bottom right, if you actually look, you can actually choose from a variety of styles, right? We have three extended, four, five, six. Five is where you guys can upload your own image, right? We have seven, we have seven extended, eight, and also style nine, nine, where you guys can also upload your own images and also GIFs. But uh, over here, I'll go to style two and click on save changes. Then I'll go over here and refresh the page. So now you guys will see that it changes to like this WhatsApp us, like this green style, which is pretty cool, right? So that's how you guys can adjust the style of your icon, right? Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and keep scrolling down here. Now the next is the position. So you guys can actually change this to different positions. Now in the pro version, you guys can change this to absolute, meaning you can put it literally anywhere on the page, but the free version will do just fine, you know? So we can change this to the top or the bottom, right? You guys can also add in pixels of padding if you guys wanna move it a little bit, right? And then also you can choose the left or the right side. So over here, bottom right, right? Or we can do bottom left, and I'll save that. I'll go over here and refresh the page, and then you'll see it changes over here to the left side. Now, what's really cool about this plugin, and this is probably one of the reasons why I did pick this plugin, is because you guys can actually change how you want your icon to look like on the desktop and also the mobile device, right? The other plugins didn't offer that. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh crap, this is kind of like a, kind of like a theme builder in a way, right? So here, if you actually uncheck this, you guys can actually create specific styles just for mobile devices, which I thought was amazing. So you can uh, go ahead and select a different style right here, and then also design it, like if you want it on the top left or the bottom, specifically for mobile devices. Pretty cool. 
We'll go ahead and scroll down here. You guys can also choose to open this in a new tab, right? Or a pop-up or the same tab. I like this option because you can always select new tab right here and that'll actually keep them on the website as long as possible. So the next is the desktop URL. So if they're on desktop, you can actually choose to actually send them to the WhatsApp website or it'll open up the app on their desktop, which I thought was pretty cool. But I think most people just use the WhatsApp version, right? I mean, you don't really send them to the website, right? So, I mean, it's a cool option, you know, if you wanna add that in. So they have the option for desktop and also for the mobile as well. Now here we have the display settings. And again, I thought this was actually really cool. You guys can actually turn this on or off on the desktop and also the mobile. Now other plugins don't have that option, believe it or not. So this plugin actually does. So that's a win for us, right? So if you guys just say, look, you know, I want to have this only on the desktop, but I want to hide it on mobile. You know, you guys can go ahead and do that. And if you guys want to get really customizable, you can actually turn this on or off on specific pages, such as your homepage, your post pages, your archive pages, and so on and so forth. Here's the option for WooCommerce, right? Where you guys can turn this on or off for WooCommerce. So if you guys want to just like display on only maybe like your products, you can say, I only want this on the product page, but not on the cart page, not on the uh, checkout page and stuff like that. So you guys can actually uh, hide it for specific pages as well, which I thought was really cool. Same thing with custom post types. If you guys do want to display this on custom post types or not, you guys can turn those on or off. And then we also have post IDs where you guys can actually hide this on specific blog posts if you wanna go that route, right? And the same thing for categories. And that is pretty much it for the uh, general settings for this specific plugin. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to save this and I'm gonna give you guys a walkthrough of actually how users would click on this and go to the app. Okay, so now I'll go to the websites and then I'm going to proceed to contact someone. So on the bottom right over here, I'm gonna click on this and what it's gonna do here, it's going to prompt us to open WhatsApp. So I'll go ahead and click on open WhatsApp. Okay, and then it proceeds to open up WhatsApp and here is my profile, right? And on the bottom it says, hello, Daryl Wilson. And that's because we changed that in the pre-filled message. So you guys can go ahead and always adjust that to any sort of greeting message that you guys choose. So at this point, you guys do have the WhatsApp integrated on your website, but if you guys wanna stick around and see what this thing can really do, like change the styles, let me go ahead and show you guys. Come on, let's go back over here. All right, so over here, I'm gonna scroll down and under the click to chat, we're gonna see greetings right here. So I'll go ahead and click on greetings. And here you guys can actually adjust the greetings. And this is where you guys can choose to have like a box with a customizable design or something very specific. So over here, I'll click on greeting one, right? And I'll go ahead and click on save changes. Now over here, I'll just go ahead and refresh the page. You guys will see now this has changed, right? So we have Daryl Wilson tutorial, replies in a few minutes. And then right here we have a question. Now what it's doing here, it's actually just using a short code and it's using the page, right? So it's just, you know, it's just using the URL or page or whatever. So we can go ahead and change all that. So the first thing we have to do is you guys cannot select visual, it must be text, right? So make sure that you guys do select text if you wanna edit something. So over here under sites, I'll just go ahead and put in my website, darylwilson.com. And then right here, it says typically replies with a few minutes. You guys can choose to change this if you want, but let's just go ahead and click on save changes and see what happens over here. So I'll refresh the page and then you'll see darylwilson.com, right? Pretty cool. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and you know mess around with the text right here and adjust it, right? So what I'll do over here is click on add header image and I'll select an image. So I'm gonna select this girl right here and then click on select and then I'll click on save changes. Now, once I do that and I go over here and I refresh the page, you will then see that it adds a little agent right there, right? And this is pretty cool. You know, it has the agent, it has our website, and then, you know, we have the next section. So now let's go ahead and add in a message for our users. So I'll go ahead and scroll down here. So here we can actually change the badge color if you guys want to change the badge color. In the pro version, you guys can change it based off the time, which is pretty cool. But here we have the actual question. So any questions related to, you know, whatever, but have a question about our website. And if you guys do wanna change the pixel size, you guys can do that right here. I'll make it a little bit bigger, right? And then click on save changes. And if we go over back over here and refresh the page, you'll see that it is a little bit bigger and you can change the message right here, right? So you can use this to uh, create any kind of message you guys want for your WhatsApp icon there. All right, let's go ahead now and keep scrolling down here. 
We also have the bottom contents and this controls the other part right here, such as the privacy policy, right? So you can go ahead and change this text right here if you guys wanna do that. And then here we have WhatsApp us. And this again is the icon where it says right here, WhatsApp us. So what I'll do over here is put contact me or contact us. Okay, click on save changes. And if we check that out, you'll see it also changes. Oh, not yet. Let's go ahead and refresh it one more time here. Maybe I did it too fast. Ah, oh, there it goes. All right. Sometimes it happens, man. It's really annoying. I have to like edit out of the video and find out what happened, you know, but everything worked just fine. Okay, so after that, we have the greetings dialogue and here you guys can change the colors. So here is the header color, which is the top color here. You also have the main background color, which is the default WhatsApp color. And then we have the background color for the message box as well. So you guys can go ahead and design all that if you guys want. Here we have the call to action button where you guys can actually change the button style if you guys wanna do that to style one, or you can do it as the default one style seven, okay? Here we have some additional settings where you can display this on desktop and mobile desktop or also mobile device, and then some other general options right here. All right, pretty cool. Go ahead and save those changes. As you guys can tell, you know, this app actually has a lot of customization. You guys can really make this into like a full fledged bot or something like that with tons of like information and stuff like that. So now that we have selected the greetings one, you guys can also do greetings two, which is content specific, or it's just going to display like a basic message for them as well. Over here, I'll just click on save changes just to give you guys a quick little example. And it'll go ahead and change it like that. You know, something more, something more like a support box and less of a WhatsApp icon. So it, it's really up to you, right? But I do think the greetings one was much better, right? So I'll go ahead and use this one for now. So that is the greetings dialogue. And here I'll scroll down and we're gonna skip WooCommerce and we're gonna click on customize. Now, earlier I mentioned that you guys can use GIFs and also images. Now, in order for this to work, you guys must actually go use style nine and then also use the media URL. So right here, you'll see I have this picture of this dude right here, right? And to make this work, all you gotta do is go over here to media and click on your library. You'll go ahead and upload your GIF or any picture that you guys want. So right here, I have this GIF, right? And here under the far URL, I'll go ahead and copy this, right? And then we're gonna take this back to our, click to chat over here, right? Under customize. And we're gonna scroll down to style nine. And then we're just gonna make sure that those are pasted there, right? Okay. There we go. Okay. You guys can also choose to change the height of this. You can make it larger or you can make it smaller, right? Uh, I'll go ahead now and click on save changes. Now, if you guys do want to use the GIF or your own image, you need to assign it in the general settings. So over here, I'll go back to uh, a click to chat and we're going to scroll down and then I'll select style 99, right? So I first need to upload the image and change the style and then I need to actually set it, right? So over here, if I go ahead and refresh the page, it'll then display the little GIF guy right there, right? Pretty cool, you know? Pretty cool, I like that, you know? You guys can also choose to get rid of that message or disable it if you guys wanna go that route, right? So all in all, I would say this is an amazing plugin with just tons of customization features, but now let's go ahead and focus on the WooCommerce aspect. So over here, I'll click on WooCommerce, and you guys can also choose to put this on specific parts of your website for the WooCommerce pages. So we have single product pages, shop pages, and then also advanced, but that's only available in the Pro. So for example, here we have the single product page. Now, the best way to learn how this works is by opening up a product. So over here, I'll go ahead and click on a product. Okay, so here we have a product and already you guys can see that it says the WhatsApp at the bottom underneath that. So I can go ahead and change that. So the first thing I can do is change the position of this. So we can put this before the products, before product summary, uh, after the products, you know, there's tons of different ways. So I'll just go ahead and put before products. And once I do that, I'll go over here and refresh the page. And then you'll see it's up here, right? Uh, I think a, a good one would probably be before the product summary, right? Let's go ahead and check, text this one out right here. Go ahead and refresh the page. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. So I think the good one would be maybe before product summary. I think that's, you know, it's, it's gonna stack above it. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I think that's probably the best one right there. You know, it's, it's right below the title or you guys can choose to put it by the add to cart, but it does kind of conflict with the button a little bit as you guys can tell. So over here, I'll go ahead and put uh, 
before the add to cart. And I'll just change the style. We'll change it to like style two, right? Here, click on cha save changes, refresh the page, and then it's right here, right? Pretty cool. Um, also, you guys can go ahead and move the position. So here we can add in space, right? So I'll go ahead and add in 10 right here, or no, 20 and 20. And here, click on save changes. So if it does kind of conflict with the theme, you guys can actually create space for it right there, right? So that's pretty cool. And you guys can do that for all parts. So you can put it uh, on a variety of parts and then you guys can create margin and padding on that specific area. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the single product pages. You guys can also choose to add this to the shop page as well, just in case you want it on all your products. I do think that's a little bit too much, but hey man, it's your business. You know, I'm just the middle guy here, right? Do what you want. So for example, uh, we can choose to put this on the product pages right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and choose a style right here. Okay. And then I'll click on save changes. Now let's go back over here and go to the shop. So now you'll see that we have the icon right here, right? And you just can just go ahead and click on that and go directly to WhatsApp. And then obviously you guys can change the pre-filled message. You guys can change the WhatsApp call to action text. And then you can choose between other various styles or even add in like the GIF or whatever, right? So if I actually click on save changes, it's going to use the GIF on all these products, which, which is pretty crazy, right? But it's kind of funny at the same time that you can add in the GIFs below all your products, right? So that is how you guys can integrate the uh, plugin onto your website. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know. So this plugin actually is pretty diverse. In the pro version, you do get more features, but I don't think you need the pro. But, you know, I, I would be a bad WordPress promoter if I didn't tell you guys to go to the website and check out the pro. But, you know, maybe you guys should because you guys always want to support the developer. The plugin itself isn't that expensive, actually. So this is the actual pro version, and it costs like 18 bucks for the year. It's not a lot of money. That's like, what? a dollar 25 a month you know it's really not that bad considering what you probably spend at starbucks right so if you guys do want to check out the pro version there is uh actually there's no link you know you just go to their website they don't have an affiliate program guys so i don't even make any money right yeah they don't have an affiliate program so uh yeah you know i've just i don't make any money if you guys upgrade i just wanted to show you guys this plugin because it's pretty badass all right, so that is pretty much it for adding WhatsApp to your website. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. I did check out probably like five or six other plugins, and this one hands down was the best. It actually was a toss up between join chats, but the big con with join chat is that they don't have any options to hide it on mobile. So that was a deal breaker for me, and this plugin took the cake, right? So if you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below, and I will see all of you party people later.